Good morning guys, welcome back. Well, sometimes things just don't go as planned. After the terrible weather that we have, we have two days in between. Today, it's a bit moi, the weather. It's warm, but there's still some rain showers forecasted. But tomorrow, it will be quite summery here. It can be up to 25 degrees, which is actually almost too hard to go hiking. So I had to take this opportunity. At first, I had my doubts. Am I going with the tent? Because that's really calling us but at the end i decided because there is some heavy winds forecasted for later today that uh, i did some research not far from home and i found a little cabin on a nature campsite so we decided to book that one and we're going to do an overnighter <laughs> really looking forward to that one and because we are staying in a cabin that also means that my mom and max can join us because I've given up on convincing them, or at least my mom, to stay in the tent. But those little cabins or hiker huts, they are fine. So it was an opportunity to go out all together before the season for Ravi and myself starts. So we're going to take you along as well. We are in Nature Reserve Kemperbroek. That's near the village of Beert in the Netherlands. It will not be long days because obviously we have Max with us and it's now already Friday afternoon. Tomorrow, during the day, it will be too warm, so we would like to be back at the car in time as well. So it's just the thing of being outside, being outdoors, and doing an overnight hike. So let's go.
are now approaching the location of the cabin so we're going to see which one belongs to ours because there should be three of them and then just install ourselves a little bit make sure that the doggies have something nice to eat and then uh, yeah we will see what the evening will bring and uh, I will take you along of course as well Found it. That one is ours. Let's check it out from the inside. Perfect. Got some new Dynema dog balls that I'm willing to try out. In one of my videos I said that Dynema dog balls, I do not really like them because they are so lightweight and they blow away easily. But I found these on Etsy and they have two little loops on it. So you can attach it to the ground, so to say, with two tent stakes. So we're going to try that one this year and this is the first use of it. Well, I think Ravi was clear about the food that he prefers for the upcoming backpacking season. I'm going to try out something new. I heard mixed things about that. I'm going to try the Mountain House breakfast skillet. And Mountain House food in general should be good, but I heard some really mixed thoughts about dehydrated scrambled eggs. So I'm going to try that, have some wraps to have it in. And in case it doesn't work, I brought this backpacker's pantry uh, mushroom stroganoff. So that's my backup. But first I'm going to try this one and for the dog's food I chose a sort of the easy way to use a kettle but I do want to have a bit of a backpacking feeling so I'm going to cook mine on my backpacking stove.
little interruption from cooking because there was someone again who did not keep their dog on the leash so it was inside of our cabin it's always a hard thing but I stopped complaining about it because so many people do it and have lack on that rule of keeping your dog on the leash especially on campsites that's an ongoing never-ending discussion I think looks good though well, going to wait until the water boils and then see what's going to bring us. Feels so good to be back outside again. First overnighter of this year. Obviously in January we always have our traditional one at the Veluwe. That we this year time of this year we had to skip because of all the flooded terrain and everything back then. But we stayed in that little nice cabin in the woods. Was fine, but this is the first overnighter of this year. And although it's not with the tent yet. It feels good. The beginning is there. It's starting to feel like spring. It's about 17 degrees today. Tomorrow 25 like I said. So we're getting somewhere. Although it took a bit this year. But I said that I was hoping that I could start backpacking early this year. So far it looks like it's going to happen. So fingers crossed on that one. It smells really good I must say. It's not a meal that takes very long. You have to wait 5 minutes. Stir again and then wait for more minutes. So within 10 minutes. Dinner should be done. Or done. Ready to eat. Water is almost boiling as well. As I can feel the handles of this pot are not getting warm. And that's what I was hoping for when I got this one for Christmas. So that's a good one. See you in 10 minutes. Moment of truth. First try it like this. Before I put it on a wrap. In case it's a big failure, I can make my alternative first. It looks a bit mushy. So I think it will be a really mess to eat it on a wrap. But we will see what it tastes like. A bit of everything. I don't know. Taste is not bad, but the consistency of the scrambled eggs is really weird. I'm gonna go with my alternative. This is not an option for us. Although I do love the American backpacking meals, this one is not going to be on the list for next year. The backpacker's pantry mushroom stroganoff is definitely much better. It doesn't look very appealing. I wouldn't describe the sauce, just <laughs> to make it better for you to watch. But it tastes pretty good. Really some chunks of mushrooms in there. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one. See you later. Cheers. We're now taking the dogs out for the last walk of the day and then we will call it a day as well. Spend a night in our little cabin and see what tomorrow will bring. It will be quite warm tomorrow so maybe first day of hiking in shirts and shorts. Maybe. We will see. For now today the weather was good. It was raining on and off a little bit. and I must say that although they said it would be quite a warm night, it, the temperature is really dropping. So maybe I do not regret not sleeping in the tent tonight and the first night of the season in this little cabin so for today we would like to thank you for hiking with us and uh, we'd like to wish you good night and we'll see you tomorrow goodbye
Good morning, guys. Uh, well, a little bit of a different quality and a little bit of a different angle for my video this morning because I don't know for what reason, but my camera died last night. So I'm trying to get some life in it for today. But for now, I have to switch to my phone, which I do not prefer because you can obviously see it in the quality. It is nice weather today. Let me show you. First day of the year of wearing shorts and it is uh, 8.30 in the morning and it's already really warm. So um, we're going to have breakfast. I have some Ritz crackers, some pate and so-called in Dutch krentenbolle. And we're going to enjoy that, pack up everything and then we start today's hike back to the car. All packed, ready for day two. Let's go.
and we are almost back at the car again. Well, I think that was a nice trail to do. It's not super spectacular here or something. It, it's a nice park to spend some time. It's good for families as well. If you live near the city of Weert in the Netherlands, I can highly recommend to go there, especially when you have children. There are a lot of playgrounds for them. They can play with water. There's a petting zoo. There's a nature museum here. So there's a lot to do here. So if you're ever nearby, go and check it out. So we would like to thank you for hiking with us on this overnight hike. Hopefully soon with a tent as well, but this was a good start for the season. If you liked this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel and notify the alarm bell. And then as always, enjoy the outdoors. We'll catch you on the next trail. Goodbye.